Hello everybody. Welcome to the vlog. <clears throat> okay, I got asked a question from Sarah Tyndall from Ed Tyndall. I'm telling you guys, you guys want to watch an excellent channel, that's the channel to watch. They have an excellent, excellent um, YouTube channel. Edward Tyndall. I, I, the link is in the description below. You guys need to go check it out. They're really good. Um, anyway, Sarah Tyndall asked me how many animals, how many pets we have. Well, here's seven pages of QR codes for the reptiles. Okay? Now, that's 24 per page. But, okay, that's not all of them. Now, I got two dogs, two cats. Unfortunately, we had three dogs and three cats, but one of our dogs passed away from old age. She was 16. And our cat got cancer at the age of 10 and passed away. So, um, <clears throat> But going on here, um, if you count up every animal that we have, uh, we're, you know, close to 200. That's about the best guess I'm going to give you. Because I don't, uh, I don't need. Ed and Sarah Tyndall, they, they, they name every one of their animals. Uh, I don't. And um, if my wife watches this, I would like to add another animal or two to the collection here in the near future but uh still up in the air and debating i'm not pushing the issue uh because i'm not like that um she's a great wife i would never complain if she says no knows the word on it but uh we're working on it so and everybody who follows me knows what i'm talking about um yeah, we even had a, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm feeling better now, but uh, like a week ago we had somebody came in here, one of our children brought some friends over, and uh, they came down into the snake rooms, into reptile rooms, I got a couple reptile rooms, a couple snake rooms, um, like, and we're showing them everything, and they took two king snakes and my pie bald bald python. And the Pied Bald was my um, dream snake. Everybody knew that. That's the one that I was always wanting. But unfortunately, uh, I can't replace it at this point in time due to the fact that we just... My wife surprised me. She paid off the house next door, uh, which was our uh, reptile house. She paid it off. Uh, how she did it, I don't know. But she did it. She worked it out, paid it off. Um, as a surprise for me, so that's why I would never push the issue about the other animals. She's done things that are amazing. So she paid the house off next door, and then, um, so we're kind of, I'll have to wait at least a year or more before I can replace these animals. Probably longer than that, because, you know, we're doing a rat breeding here and all this stuff, and it's taking a lot of time, and I don't know if any of you guys, when you first start off breeding rats... It's a little expensive because you have to build the racks, you have to buy the rats, you have to buy the food. And you still have to buy food for all your other animals due to the fact that when you first start off, you don't produce enough animals to feed the animals. So it's kind of a drawn out long process. So, you know, I'll give it to my wife. She's amazing. I'm a lucky guy. I don't know how many of you guys are that lucky to have a wife. As long as I have, but uh, that does everything to try to make you happy as possible. Anyway, let's go check some other animals in the other room real quick. Hold on. There we go. The gecko. Look at him. He's all chubby because he ate all his food. Let me check another one here. <sighs> Thank you. 
<laughs> this guy's a little, a little bitey, but it's all good. Hold on, let me see what else we got going on in here. Ooh, big old fat tail. Look at him. Her, her. I never sexed her, so I don't know what she is. Hold on. Alright, look at that one. Hold on, let me check something else out here. Well, now I gotta take him out. He's going into shed. So, that's my SLR fire. He's been locking up with her, so he's not locked up right now. So, all right, guys. I have a question for you. I may have an answer for you. Are we considered hoarders? Because when you can't come up with an accurate count on something. Okay, because what I'm getting at is. Edward and Sarah Tyndall asked me a question. Well, with Sarah Tyndall, she kind of asked us, you and I, DEA Exotics, what our accurate animal number count is. So what I did is I kind of gave them a basic idea. But if we don't know an exact number, does that mean we're hoarders? I'm not a hoarder. Well, I'm not you a hoarder. You're a hoarder. How am I a hoarder? Because you refuse to get rid of anything. Yeah, but then later on down the road when I need it, I have it, see? find it when you do need it and then I have to go buy a new one. Yeah, but then we could sell the old one. How many freaking T-squares do we have? Because you keep misplacing a T-square. A huge T-square. Like a four foot tall T-square. How many have we had to go buy because you put them away? Alright, I have like six of them, but let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm going to explain this. Can I explain this to you? We have a grandmom that lives in our house and she will pick stuff up and move it and say, well, I don't remember what I did with it. Yeah. I'm not blaming grandma for it, but. It sounds like you're blaming her to me. I mean, so I got six. Okay, I know how many of them I have. Go ahead, ask me another one. Do you know, oh, she's driving, Jeff, she can't answer it. Anyway, uh, no, I'm not a hoarder, and I kind of gave him a basic idea. Uh, you know, I showed him all the pages of the... Twice in a row? Uh -huh. All seven uh, pages of QR codes of, for the reptiles, and then, you know, I talked about our cats and our dogs and things like that. Did you do that? Oh, I was in the basement. Where was I? Uh, talking, I talking about your shirt. Trying oh, to get it because you, she bought a shirt, guys, and then she opens it up and she tries it on and she's like, "Oh, I like it." And I said, she turned around and I said, "Yeah, but do you like the big red stain on the back? It was brand new. I don't know. It must have die leaked or something somewhere. I don't know." But it was an eagle shirt. There's a no red in the eagle's colors. It's them damn New England Patriot fans, man, trying to get you back. It wasn't even a Super Bowl shirt. It was just an eagle shirt. Oh, okay, then never mind. It was a throwback one. It's okay. But my new one was shipped. I should have it on Wednesday. Well, there you go. So. All right, guys. We'll be back. Not. We'll be back. Oh, I have to say, people love it that I mess with you so much because the Tyndalls even said, yeah, he was trying to be serious on that incubator build and she just kept messing with them. I know, I heard her. I heard him. And, and I want to know what's up with that comment about the redheads and the blondes. <laughs> but what did, was up with that sh shenanigans? Did you hear what he said, though? He said that was... He couldn't stop laughing. He laughed from the beginning to the end of that. He said it was so funny. We try not to be funny, but I guess we're just funny people. Yeah, right. We don't know how to be serious. We go from extremes. We don't... There, there's no middle ground for us. We're either at a Mach 10 flying off the handle, PO'd, or we're at like a Mach minus 10, funny as can be. Three times, Jeffrey! <laughs> Let's see, here's, here's how this goes on. All right. 
You can't be serious. I life don't think is I know how to be serious. Life is too short to take everything seriously. Which brings me to my next point. Our hater. The I video love him. Wait, I love him too because I'm going to tell you why I, I love, love my hater. Whatever it is, I love you. Because every time you click on the video, even to hit that dislike button, guess what? You give me a view. Thank you. And the more views, the more it gets out, the more it gets out, the better off we are. The bigger our channel grows because we got one hater out there. If you're going to be a hater, at least be gutsy and ballsy enough to leave a comment saying, I hate this video. I hate this video. Or you guys maybe, are stupid. Maybe it's whoever that person is that says I abuse you. No, I blocked them. Oh, did you? Yeah, because you see, that's that guy was just extreme craziness. But anyway, the, the hater... Well, no, they unfollowed us. They said they were going to unfollow us because you beat me too much. Thank God they weren't there to watch me beat you in a towel. Yeah, they weren't. They didn't see it, no. That was the incubator build, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh -huh, I see why it was so funny. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, the hater, if you got guts, you know, just freaking... Leave a comment so I know who you are, and then maybe, just maybe, we can figure out what the problem is and work it out or something, right? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm negotiable. I'll, I'll I'm, I'm just glad I opened my boxes before you woke up. Why? So then you didn't see everything that came in my boxes. What came in your, you, you got boxes today? Yeah, I got two boxes. What were they? Makeup. And what was in the other one? Makeup. What? How much makeup do you need? You, you know who you're going to remind me of? I got 13 new colors of eyeshadow today. I had an aunt that was 107 years old. But I don't put mine on thick. I mean, you can look. See? No. She didn't either when she was younger. But when she was 107, this is no joke, guys. She lived to be 107. 108, right? 107 or 108? Yeah. And she died was... right before her 108th birthday. Yeah. And this was uh, last year she died, but... I'll show you all my new colors when we go home. I love them. You know what I loved about her? First off, she was the nicest person ever. But if you touched her face like this, you sank up to the first knuckle in makeup. <laughs> I don't put that much. Well, she didn't know what she was doing anymore. She knew what she was doing, but she just... Trying to cover her wrinkles. Yeah. That's one of our 100-year-old relatives. We got plenty on my side. I, how many you got on yours? None. And I'm okay with that. You don't have no any? No. I thought you had one. I thought you had an uncle that was a hundred and something. Nope. Oh. All my family members die in their 80s. Which is nothing wrong with that. That's a good run. I'm not saying it to be smart or not. I thought you did. I really did. Well, if that's the case, and my life is my, my life is half over already. Nope. See, so you got your stuff under control, honey. You don't smoke? No. You don't drink? They all did. Uh, my grandmother didn't drink. She smoked though. She smoked yeah. a lot. But she also, it was Alzheimer's when she took my grandmother. Yes. It wasn't the smoking. All right, guys. We will be back. Not. Oh, show them the lake. Look, the lake town's like almost gone. Yeah, they only got a few more days and they have to have all their stuff off the lake. I think tomorrow. Let me tell you something, guys. Is when, it tomorrow or Thursday? When the lake melts, it's like that. And if they have to rescue any of these, ooh, ooh that it's a, a major, major fine. fine. If they have to go I pulling them like off. It's like a five to a thousand, five hundred to a thousand dollar fine. Yeah, it's way up there. And that's just the fine. That's, that's not, not including the charges that they charge you ooh, for goodness. sending the diver down to hook up chains to your stuff. Oh, it ends and up then dragging it out yeah. by tow truck. That's not including those costs. No, it ends up being a lot. All That's right. Why I don't go no. All right, guys. Later. Maybe. Definitely. Oh, never mind. Good save. I was going to say, did you tell them about them sons of rats? Man, these rats, they love to try to escape. But you know what? Again, leading back to Edward Tyndall. He said when they escaped, they become savages because he reached down and grabbed one off the floor when it got out. I caught them before then. <laughs> and it bit them right in the finger. I caught him before then. All right, guys. We'll be back. Maybe. No, that's a promise. We're at my favorite store. What about you, hon?
It's got to be close. Better than that wall, we're hard to crap. <laughs> All, right, All right, guys. guys we'll be back. We went into Home Depot to buy this. What do you think we need to buy this? What do you think it is for? If you guys can guess, you get a shout out on tomorrow's vlog. So what do you got to say, hon? I think because we have so many people addicted to Dots pretzels. Yeah, they're covered with... <laughs> yeah, we, we won't go there. They're good seasonings. <laughs> Did you just watch that bomb? No, slide? I missed it. <laughs> anyway, I think when we hit 600 subscribers... Which is only 75 away. It ain't very hard to get there. I am going to pick two people. Okay. Out of all the comments or whatnot. And this is the official video when we hit. I'll put out an official video when we hit 600 subscribers. I'm going to give away not one, but two pound, like the two pound bags. Uh huh. So two people will get a two pound bag of Dots pretzels that have never tried them before. Well, even if, well, you can't leave Youper out. You can't <laughs> leave Jay out. I mean, if they win, they win. If they win, we'll send an extra hey, person get, out. Yeah, they'll get theirs. I mean, I got them addicted to the crack. At least that's what, that's what Youper called it, No, Youper right? said, man, this stuff's better. This is the best stuff he's ever eaten. <laughs> Youper thinks Dots pretzels are the best, and so does Jay. I mean, there was almost a fist fight at Jay's house over Dot's pretzels. I mean, I was on the phone with Youper when he was running through the house. Who took my pretzels? <laughs> he was running through the house. Who took my pretzels? He was running in rooms and everything. <laughs> Who got them? So, for our 600 subscribers, when we hit 600 subscribers, two lucky viewers will win a two-pound bag of Dot pretzels. Yep. Very interesting. I think I'm going to enter. You're not allowed to enter. Why ain't I allowed to enter? <laughs> I'll enter. Under a fictitious name. Then when you say, I'm going to mail these to this person, I'll be like, yeah, you can just hand them to me. Four. That's number four. That's four. Alright guys, later. You know what, Youper? We watched your video this morning. And, uh, that you put up. But I think our trains are nicer. Because our trains always have oil at the back of them. Or in the middle of them. Or in the middle of them somewhere. But what do you think? Do we? Does North Dakota have nicer trains in the Uber territory? The up. Than the Upper Peninsula? <laughs> Are there trains all graffiti up like cars are? <laughs> no. Sorry, you, bro. I just had to say our trains are better, buddy. Our trains, well, his trains travel in ice, too. Never mind, that won't work. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit snowy up there, too, huh? I don't know the answer. I realize who we were talking about. All right, I'm guys. I'm having a blonde moment. Leave me be. You heard it there first, Edward Tyndall. We'll be back. <laughs> no, no. You're driving, driving. You are driving. Keep your hands from pinching. How? How? Son of a. Son of a what? Gun. Would you please stop? We are a family friendly oriented channel. I'm not the one that's saying anything. Well, what is that, Mom? This is a payday. I have some. All right, guys, we'll be back. Not maybe. Hey guys. Our rain gutter has a problem. We got to get it fixed. Look at that sucker. Pull this quickly. Look at the size of that. It must be clogged or something. He'll have to go over and fix it. Should I jump up and try to grab it? No, just grab it and try to... Oh, it's heavy. I guess it is. Look at the size of that sucker. Look as tall as you are. It's taller than he is. Put it down. Put it flat down on the ground. It's almost a six foot so it's like six foot long. 
I just throw no, it? No, but you know what? what? Slash it like Axe would do. Like, like a what? No, like... A, no, like... You know, like... Play it like a guitar or something. Or you throw slam it. it on the ground? So well, you could throw it out in the street and see if it breaks. I bet it would. It's going to break. I mean, <laughs> throw it straight up in the air and run. Oh, it shattered. A million pieces out. He just tossed it up in the air and it landed. And no, shattered. my hands are freezing. Um, excuse me. Why? Good job. Good job. Let Unlock me in. the door. Just let me in. Just let me in. <laughs> we'll be back, guys.